I've had a few people asking me to do a video on the vinyl wrap on this boat because uh, I didn't do one as I was uh, installing it. It's actually a little bit harder uh, than I originally had thought it would be. Um, it's definitely a two or three person job. Uh, a couple things I didn't do, which I'd really recommend you do, is get their edge sealer and their primer. Um, I'll show you why. Like the what you can do in a lot of areas like this, or along uh, seams like this, around rivets, you can put their primer on just to help with adhesion. Um, so you can see up here, there's a few areas where it's coming off at the top. Um, so that's where the primer will help. Also to you know prevent that, you can put the edge sealer on there as well once it's applied, once the vinyl's applied. And again, same thing down here, especially down here because this is gonna be such a, uh, an area where there's gonna be a lot of water force along that length on the hull. So over on the other side here, you can really see a good example of where that primer um, would really be helpful. I've got these air bubbles. Uh, they've been there for over a year now. They haven't really gotten any bigger. Um, so eventually, you know, you're going to pop one of those and that's going to do some damage. I have it here, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a patch put on. And if you have extra material, you can put those on. It's actually not too bad. Um, don't really notice it too much. So that's one thing you can do, but that's where that primer and edge sealer is really going to be beneficial to you couple more this side was worse than the other um, back here you can see a big patch and it's starting to come off here so I'm gonna have to fix that up but I had a huge wrinkle here so I took that out and just just cut it out took the vinyl off and then just put a big patch on around the back I just did it in two sections did the one side and then just overlap them here in the center. This area is one of the worst where I got some wrinkles in the vinyl that I just couldn't get out. Is kind of where I started on it. Um, but it's, it's not too bad, like I don't really care. It's not perfect, my first attempt at it. This side I got a couple here by the live well overflow. But uh, that's kind of what you'll expect if you're, you're not a pro at doing this, I think. Because it is a fairly tricky material to work with at times. But overall, that's how it came out. So I'm pretty happy with it. Really happy with the durability on it. Haven't had any issues that way whatsoever. And I'd definitely do it again.